Hey guys, it's Kevin and welcome to another Cinema 4D tutorial. Today we're going to be modeling an old Roman nail. And so we want to kind of make a nail that uh, we think was used in the crucifixion of Jesus. And so we have a, a good idea of what they look like. And uh, so I want to show you how to create one of those um, in Cinema 4D. So let's go ahead and start off with our cube. So here's the, the basic object we're going to be uh, working with. And uh, what we want to do is just go ahead and make it look more like a nail. So I'm going to leave my Y at 200. I'm going to change my X to about 17. And then I'm going to change my Z to about 14. Now you can, you know, kind of play around with these how, however you want to. Um, but 17, 214 is what I'm going to start off with, and I'm probably going to change it, but that's that's our uh, initial uh, values we're going to use here. So the next thing we want to do is we want to add some segments. So we want the Y. Let's go to our display here so we can see our lines. We want the Y, which is our long um, segment here. We want to have that about 10 segments like that, so it's nice and uh, divided here. And then for the X, we want three on that one. And then we want three on the Z. And the reason I want that is because I want um, this tip right here. I want it to have nine. Um, I want it to have nine squares right here. So we have one right in the middle. Okay, so something like that. Uh, the three segments, uh, ten segments, and then three segments for X, Y, and Z. All right, so now what we want to do is we want to taper the top of it. We'll go ahead and work on the nail point to start off with. So this part, this part right here. And uh, let's go ahead and get a taper. So right here, click on taper. And then let's put this into our cube. And then let's make sure we fit to parent. And uh, I think that looks good like that. So now what we do when we uh, increase our strength, you can see that it is um, making the entire nail sharp at this point. But you can see what it's doing. It's it's uh, tapering the entire the entirety of the nail here. So it's its widest at the bottom, and then you get to the very end, and it's it's really really sharp. So we don't necessarily want it to look exactly like that. We want to make this taper a little bit less. So all you have to do is on your taper is just drag it up. If you want to uh, drag this taper up, so it's not affecting most of the nail, but it's only affecting um, this part right up here. So you can just drag your taper up, and then go to your Y and just make it smaller. So something kind of like that. And let's do our strength at 100. And then you can have your nail only taper at the end. So you see how we have it like it's it's uh, only tapering at the end. So that's one way you can make the nail. Um, and another way that you can make the nail is uh, you can make the Y even bigger than the actual nail. So for example, let's go ahead and make this Y much bigger, like 400 centimeters. And then let's do let's do like um, 30 and 30 for the other ones. And then what you can do is you can drag that taper down kind of like that. And now it's kind of going towards that point. Um, and now you can decide how sharp do you want your, your edge to be? Do you want it to be, you know, do you want it to be completely sharp, um, like to a point, you know, like a needle? Um, Roman technology probably wasn't that advanced. You can probably do it something more like that. You know, you don't want it terribly sharp because that's just not really possible. But either way you want to do it, if you want to make it go, the entire thing tapers, um, or you can just do the very tip of it tapers, you know, that's up to you. And you can always change that later. So I'm going to leave it at this one now, but you can always make that taper smaller and just uh, have the very bottom part or the very tip part of it uh, tapered in. All right, so that looks good right there. Now, what I'm going to do before I make this cube editable, is I'm going to add some uh, fillet here. So let's go ahead and click on our fillet on our cube. And uh, I think three centimeters and three, cent uh, three subdivisions is fine. And so that's just going to give us a little bit more of a rounded edge on here instead of these really sharp uh, points here. So just a nice little uh, fillet here. Okay, so now what we want to do is work on the head of the nail. And uh, how I'm going to do that is I'm actually going to... I'm actually going to go ahead and flip this upside down so I don't have to work upside down. So let's, I'm just going to go ahead and flip this, rotate my, rotate this thing 180 degrees just so I can work like this. Okay, so now we have to edit the top of it. So go ahead and hit C on your keyboard to edit it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to work on the top of this um, 
nail head right here. So I'm going to um, actually go ahead and make a cut here. I would like to have one more subdivision about right there. So I'm gonna hit K on my keyboard. Make sure we're on planes. K and then we'll do a line cut. And I'm just gonna do a line cut about right there. I'm just adding another subdivision. That's, that's really all that's going on here. Okay, so now I have um, just a, a few more subdivisions up here. I'm going to uh, make sure my polygons are selected here. I'm gonna do UL and start selecting these loops. So click that one. I'm gonna hold shift down and click that one. And then that one. And then that one. And then for this last one, it's not a loop. So I'm just gonna to have to go up and hold shift and then just click each one of these and that's fine. Okay, so this is our nail head right here. This is our selection. What we want to do is just hit T on your keyboard and we're gonna start making it bigger. Hold your control key down and let's just make it large like this. Let's zoom out so we know exactly how large to make it. So something kinda like that. That's with our taper, okay. And then I'm going to uh, make this more of a square nail head. So I'm just going to like bring this one out just a little bit like that, just so it's a, more of a square on the top. And then I'm just gonna move the whole thing up about like that. Okay, so there is our nail head and you can determine you know, how much you wanna bring it up. Do you wanna bring it up a lot or you gonna bring it up a little bit? Something like that I think looks good, just like that. Okay, get rid of that selection. I'm gonna click this one, this little uh, square at the top. I'm gonna drag up with my uh, axis right here and that's just gonna give a little bit of a bump right there on the top. Don't drag it up too high, that'll just look weird, but just drag it up just a little bit. And you could also just make it smaller if you wanted to, but just a little bump right on top. Okay. So that looks pretty good right there. Let's zoom out, see how our nail looks with the taper. That taper is huge, <laughs> that is a big taper. So we could always uh, you know, adjust our taper um, how, we, how you want to adjust it. You may wanna make it so it doesn't affect the head of the, um, the nail. So you could bring it down like this. You know, however you want to do it. That, that's up to you. If you bring it all the way down past the head, it's gonna be kind of like that, which I think that looks pretty good. We can even make it smaller. All of this is just kind of trial and error till you get to a point where you like it. But if you do go up above the, uh, the head of the nail, it is gonna taper that as well. So that's something to keep in mind like that. Okay, so the, the very tip of my nail is not a perfect pin. You know, I don't think that would be very realistic, but something kind of like that I think is good. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to my cube and I'm going to add a bevel. So let's go here to bevel, make sure you're inside the cube. And uh, I want to just uh, add just a little bit of bevel here. And so I'm going to do my subdivisions at one and then my offset is going to be at about three, I think. Oh, that's starting to get a little bit of mess ups right there. Maybe two would be fine. So it doesn't do a lot. It just kind of smooths out some of these little uh, top parts here. And then down here at the bottom as well, it just kind of rounds that tip off just a little bit at the bottom. Uh, but the bevel, if you do it too much, you're gonna start getting like really weird effects here. And so we don't want to do that. But I think around two, two centimeters, and then one or two or three subdivisions I think will be fine. Okay, that's pretty much all we have to do here. So now what we want to do is just go ahead and start adding a, um, a texture on here. So um, you can add any type of texture that you want. I just wanna show you what it would look like with a, a basic texture here. So let's just go to our reflectant and let's add a GGX. That's gonna make it like really shiny here, just like that. And that's pretty much how you uh, design a nail right here. So that's, uh, it's really fun to do. You can also, you know, get a, um, like a plane, for example. Let's get a plane and let's make, let's make our entire cube a lot smaller here. That is a big cube, I mean, a big nail here. All right, so let's go ahead and get that. And then, you know, you can um, have fun with it. So we can go ahead and let's go ahead and put 
some color on that plane. You can uh, make it um, into a rigid body, for example, and then you can make your plane into a collider body. And then, you know, you could drop it onto the ground and see what it looks like when it falls on the ground, just like that. Let's go ahead and add a little light in here. So here's a little light. And let's see what that looks like rendered. If I add a shadow. All right, so there's our render right there. This is very low settings right here, but that's what our rendered view would look like with just a light and a plane. Um, you, you probably want to do a little bit more uh, in depth on that, but that's that looks pretty good like that. Here's another rendered view just like that. So you can always, you know, go back and, and you know, work more on your um, your shape if you want to make it sharper or whatever. Let's see how sharp that looks like that. That's pretty sharp. Um, let's try to put it in a subdivision surface. I don't know if that's going to work. All right, so here's subdivided out. It's not bad. It's very shiny right now. We don't really have any type of actual texture on it. We just have that uh, GGX uh, reflectance on it, but that looks pretty good, I think. And then, of course, if you want to, um, you want to do multiple ones of these, uh, just put that thing in a, a cloner, put your cube in a cloner, and then, of course, we need to. Um, move them separate from each other. So there's our three nails. Let's just go ahead and rotate that a little bit. So there's three nails right there. And then you just hit play on your uh, timeline there. And now they all fall down just like that. And you would render it. And there's three nails right there. Look, they look, of course, this is low resolution, but they look very uh, much realistic there. Those are your nails. And uh, you can, you know, start moving those things around and uh, play around with them. And uh, you can do as many nails as you want. So if you wanted to do, you know, if you wanted to do 20 nails, you know, you could do that as well. Or if you wanted to do 20 nails, like, um, on top of each other. There we go. So let's do 20 nails. I don't know exactly what's going to happen here. Let's do 20 nails all on top of each other. You drop them, and then they all just kind of fall down. And uh, here's our render view. And now you just you have all of these nails all over the place. But guys, that's how you make a nail in Photoshop. Um, of course, you're going to want to add some more textures and, and uh, change your backgrounds and your lights and all that stuff. But I just wanted to show you how to model it. Uh, they're really fun to do. And I uh, hope that you enjoyed this little tutorial on how to make old ancient Roman nails. But that's all I got for today. Thank you so much for watching this video. And I'll see you again at the next tutorial.